Hi, I'm Mel McMurrin, and I'd like to personally congratulate you on purchasing a C-Sound Solo. You've just given your studio 24-bit, 96 kilohertz digital analog conversion and a whole lot more. Here, let me show you. The C-Sound Solo is an easy-to-use, complete solution. A PCI card and rack mount unit combination that set the music industry on its ear. Because I bet you paid a fraction of what you thought you'd have to pay to achieve such power. I'm sitting here in the world-class Studio 880 in Oakland, California to make a point. Look around. You'll notice a beautiful console, stacks of processing gear, a patch bay with miles of cabling. More gear, frankly, than any of us will ever be able to afford. And more gear than any of us will probably ever need to afford. You see, with today's solo producers and composers, two inputs are all you really need at any given time. Solo gets you two and a whole lot more. Combine that with the power of today's multi-track recording software. It gives you the ability to record and mix tons of tracks. And today's plugins, where there's a virtual solution for just about any effect or post-production tool you can imagine. The day has finally arrived when just because you record in your bedroom or in a warehouse, in somebody's garage, doesn't mean you have to sound like a garage band. I like to try for that. The virtual studio inside your computer is well on its way to replacing much of what you see here. And the C-Sound Solo is your link to this future. A future of professional and affordable recording and production. A future that begins for you right now. The first thing you have to do after you fill out and mail your registration card is open your computer and install the Solo PCI card. Don't be afraid. Thousands of folks have opened their computers and installed a PCI card. But if opening your computer makes you at all queasy, or if you don't trust yourself with a screwdriver, then by all means, hire a technician or a computer savvy friend to help you. First, power down your computer and unplug it. Screwdrivers and live current are not a good combination. Second, ground yourself. You want to make sure any static electricity in your body is discharged because static can destroy the sensitive components of the solo PCI card or the insides of your computer. You can do this by grabbing something metal or anything grounded. The computer chassis is often a great choice. Remove the screws on the computer chassis. Put them someplace memorable and safe. Remove the computer's outer shell and look inside. You are looking for a free PCI slot. Some are ISA. Don't confuse the two. PCI slots are generally porcelain in color, and ISA slots are much larger in black. Carefully remove the card from its protective bag by the end bracket, and even if you're sure you're free from static, avoid touching the metal leads on the components of the card. If you have to set down the card for any reason, place it on its own bag. This is a PCI slot. Notice that the number of contacts on the card matches up perfectly with those in the slot. If there's a fill bracket where you want to place the PCI card, simply remove the retainer screw and save it. Then remove the bracket. Watch as I carefully place the solo card in a slot. The card must be pushed firmly to set properly. That's firmly to set properly, not too firmly. When the card feels solidly snapped into place, just replace the retaining screw. Now close up the computer and plug everything back in. In a basic setup, your MIDI keyboard connects to the solo MIDI in and sound modules or samplers to the solo MIDI out. Your PCI card connects via the supplied cable. This connection must be rock solid, so push the connector on squarely to tighten the lockdown screws firmly. Hook up powered speakers or any monitoring device to the control room outputs and line level instruments like a synthesizer to the solo line inputs. Refer to the manual for many other variations on hooking up instruments. To load the C-Sound drivers on a Mac, Drag the C-Sound Solo extension from the install CD and drop it in the system folder on your internal hard drive. A window will pop up and say that this is a system extension. Do you want it in the extensions folder? Click yes and restart your Mac. C-Sound also gives you ASIO drivers. They belong in the ASIO folder of all the applications you wish to use that support ASIO. Drop the ASIO icon from the CD into the ASIO folder of each application. If you're using an application that uses the Mac Sound Manager, Go to Apple Menu, Control Panel, Sounds, and choose C-Sound as the internal sound input device. Then repeat the procedure, choosing C-Sound as the internal sound output device as well. Caution, Mac users. When switching from applications that use Sound Manager to applications that use ASIO, deselect Solo as the input-output device in the Sound Control Panel by choosing Built-in. 
For Windows, your operating system should alert you to the presence of a new PCI card with this message. Now if you don't get this message, don't freak out. Instead, refer to the tech support section in the solo manual where you'll find troubleshooting hints and the CSound technical support number where we're ready to help. Completing the driver install in Windows is simply a matter of pointing Windows to the disk that has the solo drivers you want. For the initial setup, this would be your solo CD. At some point in the future though, you may have updated drivers on a floppy or ones downloaded from our website onto your hard drive. In either case, you would direct Windows to browse for the drivers there. Once the drivers are installed, you'll want to restart the computer. Now let's play a demo song and see if we're getting output from the computer. If you don't have any recording software installed, now's the time. We've included Cubasis AV and a version of Acid Rock on the C-Sound CD. Or if you just can't wait, you can use a playback program like Media Player on the PC or your internal CD player on the Mac. To install the software we've included, double-click on the C-Sound CD, then the icon of the software you wish to install, and follow the install wizard. When your software is installed, you'll find a solo demo song in Cubase or Acid Rock format on your desktop. Just double-click the icon, and when you see the song is loaded, hit play. Push the output button on the VU meter of the solo. Turn up the knobs labeled Computer in the Monitor Mix section of the solo. And if you're monitoring through speakers, turn up the control room output. If you're using headphones, turn up those controls as well. <laughs> wow, now that was fun. But I bet you bought a solo to do more than listen to music. Let's record something. If you haven't done so already, plug in your guitar, mic, or keyboard. Flip the record switch on the channel you wish to record up and get a level by putting your VU meter in input mode. Slowly turning your trim knob until you hit zero VU. Now turn up your level knob to fine tune your level and hear yourself. Engage an input in the application you're using. You should see level in your computer as well. If you don't, see our owner's manual or the manual for the recording application you're using. You may need to make some adjustments. For instance, if you hear a delay or echo, in Cubase we recommend that you open the options menu, then your audio system, and place the monitor in global disable. We'll walk you through software settings in our C-Sound manual, and as we add compatible software, you'll find those tweaks on our webpage at csound.com, or you can always give us a call. Once you've recorded, mixed, and mastered your tune to its final sampling rate, you may want to transfer it to DAT, and the Solo comes equipped with a great tool, the Solo Meter. To install it, select the Solo CD. It should auto-run, but if it doesn't in Windows, simply right-click on the Solo CD icon and select Autoplay. Then, choose the install icon and follow the install wizard. The Solo Meter is useful for setting up exact SPDIF levels, as well as setting up the Solo as a pass-through analog-to-digital 24-bit converter. Check out the manual for more on this cool extra. On behalf of all of us here at C-Sound, congratulations on making Solo a part of your studio arsenal. It's a great pleasure for us to bring musicians and producers the tools that can take their talents to new levels of creativity. Thanks for choosing Solo. I'm Mel McMurrin, and I'm ready to record. <laughs>